buenas noches, damas y caballeros, su servidor, Ruthless Green Morales, una vez más traído a ustedes por MMAlatino.com. En exclusiva, aquí a mi derecha, tenemos al súper reconocido en todo el mundo maestro, Gokor, y en su, su dojo, en su gimnasio. Y ahorita en estos momentos, no sé cuándo fue la última vez que al maestro lo entrevistaron en español. Él habla un poquito de español, pero la mayor parte de la entrevista la vamos a hacer en inglés. Ah, señor Gokor, es un placer. Que usted nos eh, dé la bienvenida aquí a su gimnasio. Dice que tenemos a todos sus alumnos aquí. Y usted habla un poco de español, claro. Yo comprendo. Un poquito. Sí. Um, how long has your, your dojo been open in Toro? Uh, this, this dojo is a little, little over three years. And, but it's 26 years now, basically, teaching. I have teaching the different different places. So this, this school I bought it uh, from the land and everything. Put a little money in there, so I own the completely uh, this place. The whole lot, huh? yes. Now you see, you're very famous worldwide, Mr. to go for. That's why it's very nice for us to have the opportunity to be here with you and you know, you and also to showcase people from Latin America how it is that everything, your whole story, kind of like you're originally from Armenia, correct? From Armenia, yes. Nice. We're regional yeah. Armenia. Original Armenia, yeah, uh, that's the capital of the Armenia. Okay. Uh, but I've been a Russian team many, many years. And until I come to America, I still was a Russian team until 19, 1985. I tried to be an Olympic in 84, but uh, I was made Olympic. But uh, in, uh, Russians didn't come to Los Angeles, they broke up. So after that, I decided to do everything in the United States. Now, from your hometown, you're basically the only one has, who has exceeded to the highest level and have you made like stars like, you know, if I'm not mistaken, Ronda also? Yeah, Ronda. Uh, Ronda is my, I'm a Ronda's grappling coach and uh, Caro Parisian, Manny Gamburian, Oleg Taktarov, and too many other guys uh, that train with me, you know, uh, but, uh, Masasi, too many guys. I can name and name and name a lot of guys. The Shamrock family, uh, Frank lives uh, next to her a long time, I train with me also, Frank Shamrock. They're all nice people, very good champions, Good, they left the good names and all to the world. And some of them continue, some of them are not. You know. But I help a lot of people and uh, I'm still helping it. So how we how we say it in Spanish? Usted tiene buen corazón. Yes, in your heart. Yeah, well, I think so. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Mr. Gokor, what would you say? I'm, I'm pretty sure they asked you this many times before. What do you think that is the big difference? Uh, in Spanish, you say, look, that's the song, the secret sauce for your system among any other system. Uh, you know, I like all the system up there. I, I love every system up there. What I see, in, especially in my system, uh, because we are not really using too much the rules on the system. Okay. And, but it's not mean we don't use the system, the rules are, it's, it's dangerous, it's not dangerous. I, thanks God, I'm teaching 26 years, it's accident happened maybe one or two times out of 26 years, you imagine, there's no accident. And we do uh, from toe to head. Uh, submissions. Our our younger guys uh, learn submission. So the system I like our system because we do a lot of striking, kicking, punching. Beside that, because of wrestling, judo, and jiu jitsu, we do a lot of good stand up takedowns. And comes to the ground, you know, we're using the caution judo, which is the jiu jitsu come from, and that's what I learned in my country. And uh, the ground game is completely we do what the jiu jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu people does, and plus we do a lot more because we fight no gi, gi, and also we do a lot of leg locks of different ways, and a lot of uh, neck locks different ways. And basically, we don't go too much in a point system; it's a full contact, so we always attack to submit, and we go to the head, we finish the leg, we go attack the leg, we finish the neck. So, so everything is a setup. Very set up. Uh, it's all really build up uh, to finish your opponent. Of course, we do a lot of positioning too, and we fight. Uh, we do uh, two different type of things. We do grappling, grappling, and the judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo with the gi. Especially what we do, and 
now uh, other people start doing too. We're doing a grappling. It's not a grappling. It's MMA grappling. And also we do wrestling. It's not a wrestling. It's MMA wrestling. So it's very much helping the, for the MMA fighters. So that's what the, every morning now we train all the MMA team. So this is what basically we do lately. We do a little bit change. All the guys are come together and now. Before the fight, without getting ready, now they really getting ready. Now it's going to be even more dangerous. So ahí lo tienen ustedes. We're gonna go ahead and need the kind of like translation afterwards. Pero aquí lo han tenido él un poco en cada una de sus palabras. Nos han contado un poquito acerca de la historia de su carrera, de cómo su sistema.